Welcome to another edition of Fridays with Fred. My name is Fred Said. So today's topic is when you're selling a home and you aren't able to move as soon as it closes, what are my options as a seller? In the state of California, the simple solution is a rent back. What that means is as soon as it closes escrow, let's say you had a 30-day escrow, it closes, you're no longer the owner of the home, then right after that, starting the day after, you'll rent the property back short term and become the short term tenant. And the buyer who bought it will be your short term landlord. Now it's very simple. Either you agree to pay the new owner of the property the market value rent, you agree to pay their cost of whatever their out the door payment is on their loan, or you agree to pay any terms that you both negotiate during the terms of that transaction. The key thing I want to talk about today is how long can you rent it back? If a buyer is buying your home as an investment property, you can rent it for as long as you want, as long as you guys are both on the same page. Yet if the buyer who's buying your home is buying it as their primary residence and there's a loan involved, the max that you can rent it back is 60 days because their rule with their loan, because they're buying it as their primary residence, they have to occupy the home within 60 days of closing escrow. So short-term rent backs are great solutions as long as buyers and sellers are on the same page and it's structured properly. Any questions about this whatsoever, please call us seven days a week at 1-800-921-9231. And for all real estate, go to fredsaidrealty.com. And as always, like us on Facebook, share this video, and tune in next week for another amazing edition of Fridays with Fred. Why? Because that's what Fred said.